And we just heard from the uh, visiting vehicle officer who confirmed that the command has been set sent to the uh, for the hooks. The hooks are now driving on Progress 47. This is a process that will take about three minutes to complete. And as the springs push off, we'll have physical separation. We're uh, now getting a look from the external camera from the Progress, looking directly at the docking port on the pier's docking compartment. as we uh, pass over Russian ground stations now for the next several minutes. And undocking has been confirmed here at 3.26 p.m. Central Time. Again, physical separation of Progress 47 confirmed on time at 3.26 p.m. Central Time as the uh, two vehicles cross over... Uh, This is Mission Control Houston again. Physical separation has been confirmed on time at 3.26 p.m. Central Time. As the uh, two vehicles flew at about 255 statute miles just over the eastern Mongolia. This is a Mission Control Houston. We're getting a look from the external camera from the Progress that has a physically separated from the International Space Station with just about a minute. The uh, Progress thrusters will fire in a separation burn for about 15 seconds to create a change on the uh, Progress velocity by 0.66 meters per second. This is mission control. Houston, the uh, progress thrusters have fired. The uh, separation burn began. It will last about 15 seconds to create that change on the uh, progress velocity. Again, that's by 0.66 meters per second. It will begin an opening rate that will allow the progress to back away slowly, slowly and safely away from the space station. Again, this first undocking and moving away from the space station is in 
An effort to test the new automated rendezvous occurs in a docking system. The uh, Progress 47 cargo craft now undocked and slowly moving away from the space station. arrived at the space station back on April 22nd, delivering uh, 2.8 tons of food, fuel, and supplies for the station residents. It is now loaded with trash and is uh, equipped with the Russian, a new Russian Kurs NA docking system. The uh, vehicle will now phase out to a distance of about 100 miles away from the space, space station. A uh, final retrograde burn for station keeping is scheduled to occur just after midnight at 12.01 a.m. Monday, Houston time. This is Mission Control Houston. You're now getting a replay video of the undocking. You're seeing now the uh, physical separation of the Progress 47 that arrived to the International Space Station back on April 22nd. Physical separation was confirmed at uh, 3.26 p.m. Central Time as the vehicles flew at about 255 statute mile just, miles just over eastern Mongolia. The uh, next burn is scheduled to take place in a couple of hours. The Progress 47 cargo craft will continue to phase out to a distance of about 100 miles from the space station. Where a uh, final Progress retrograde burn will put it at station keeping at that 100 miles distance from the space station. That uh, retrograde burn is scheduled to take place at 12.01 a.m. Central Time, Houston. The vehicle now loaded with trash will uh, stay at that distance for about 27 hours for a series of tests. These tests are testing out the new uh, Russian Kurs NA docking system. If these tests are successful, it will eliminate four additional antennas of the previous docking system. Again, we are looking at video replay of the uh, Progress 47 undocking from the International Space Station. That uh, occurred just about 30 minutes ago. Again, physical separation was confirmed at 3.26 p.m. Central Time. As the vehicles flew at an altitude of about 255 statute miles just over eastern Mongolia. This is Mission Control Houston. Again, we're getting a video replay of the uh, undocking of the Progress 47 from the International Space Station. You can see 
There in the background, the Progress 47 moving slowly away from the space station. Undocking was confirmed at 3.26 p.m. Central Time. The uh, cargo craft will continue to phase out to a distance of about 100 miles away from the space station. Where then a uh, final retrograde burn will be commanded to put it at station keeping there at that distance for the next 27 hours. And then a series of tests to uh, test out the new KERS NA docking system will take place before an automated uh, command will be sent for rendezvous back to the space station for redocking on Monday night.